There are three ways you can experience qi. When you do Tai Chi long enough, your hands get warm and your fingers are swollen. Tai Chi practice increases blood flow to your hands and fingers. This is a sure sign that your qi is flowing. You may also feel a tingling sensation in different parts of your body. And it usually starts with your fingers. So this tingling sensation is related to the relaxing and opening of the tissues, which causes qi flow in your fingers, allowing your blood to circulate more and more, stimulating nerve movements. Your body then becomes more aware of the bioelectric charge it houses. The bioelectricity is responsible for your heart beating and your eyes blinking. And yes, there is electricity in your body. I know it's hard to believe, but your cells conduct electrical currents. Electricity is required for your nervous system to send signals throughout your body and to your brain, making it possible for you to move, feel, and think. Now, breath work is the third valuable tool through which you can experience your chi. But some people have trouble feeling their chi and they have trouble feeling their bodies. So out of the three ways you can experience chi, and the three ways are via your blood, via your bioelectricity, and via your breath, what I call the three Bs, it's safe to say that it's easiest to contact Qi as a felt experience through your breath. So breath work is very important and it's important in Tai Chi. Here are some do's and don'ts that allow you to connect with your Qi and help your body feel good. So number one, breathe from your nose rather than from your mouth. Unless your nose is congested, do not use your mouth because the nose and the nostrils contain hairs and follicles that filter the air that goes in. Number two, keep the tongue on the roof of your mouth where the hard palate is located. This is where the tip of your tongue touches when you say the word le in French. This connects two important acupuncture meridians called the governing and conception vessels, but more on that later. Number three, do not hold your breath. I know that there are some medita meditation techniques out there that show you how you can use your breath by holding it in, and this gives you, uh, gets you into a meditative state. However, that's not done in Tai Chi because we want to focus on more natural movements of your breath, continual movements that keep the flow going. Number four, breathe deeply. So add some time to your breath, both the inhale and exhale. So you may start with one or two seconds of each, then work your way up to three to four, and finally maybe get to five to six seconds of um, each breath. Number five, relax the chest and breathe with your belly. So a lot of times we use our chest and our lungs and we exert ourselves, project the chest out to push and give us strength. But instead, what we wanna do now is just breathe with your belly and this will strengthen your diaphragm, enabling air to move more efficiently through your body. Number six, use each breath to relax your body. Use your exhales to focus relaxing tensions in your physical tissues and nerves. And over time, do the same with inhales. I know that in Tai Chi, we teach that the exhalations are very important, but the inhalations are equally important. So keep in mind to use your inhale just as well to focus on relaxing your body. Number seven, as your belly relaxes, allow your breath to put deeper pressure on your internal organs. So as you inhale, you feel the pressure of your internal organs. And this is very good for your organs to be able to move and exercise in this manner. Number eight, make your breath silent. So when you breathe, 
more and more slowly, more and more deeply, your eyes start to relax and you get to start to do your steps very well from one to seven. Then you get a sense that your breathing in air disappears. So you're no longer breathing in air. Everything becomes nice and silent. And so then the notion becomes you are now breathing in chi and not air. And now you're going to use your mind to direct your chi flow from the outside to the inside and vice versa. And this results with your breath, your energy and your consciousness being all linked together. And now you're ready to consciously focus on coordinating your breath with your movements. In my Tai Chi movements, I coordinate my inhales with my hands moving away from my torso. So when I inhale, my arms and hands move away from my body. And when I exhale with my movements, my hands come towards my torso. And you can physically create a regular pressure that builds up over time inside your abdominal cavity. This actually strengthens your entire body and the movements of your bodily fluids, bringing you strength and vitality. So your health and longevity really depends on your ability to move your chi. So let's do some Tai Chi and coordinate your breath with your movement. All right, relax, exhale, step to the side, two, shift the weight, three, turn in. Exhale, relax, let everything go. One, energize the fingers up. Two, exhale, sink back down. Three, energize the fingers. Four, relax back down, exhale all the way. Then one, turn, energize. Two, shift the weight. Three, exhale all the way, sinking down, energize. One hand up, one hand down. Then one, one hand faces the other. Two, heel up, three, turn, four, step. Exhale into your right foot, energize to the shape. Then one turn, two, shift the weight back. Exhale all the way, energize, roll back. And one, shift the weight forward, exhale into your right foot, energize, press. Then one back and two open, exhale and push. One back, winding up and two open. And three, step back, exhale all the way, energize, cross hands. Then palms down, relax, exhale, back down. So what if you can unleash a lot of chi, giving you physical strength? And what are these main and secondary acupuncture meridians or channels, gates and points that we've talked about earlier to which you can move your chi energy? Well, follow me on Twitter and let's find out.